Tonight, news spread across the gem state of the passing of one of the legendary figures in Idaho politics. Bethine Church passed away at the age of 90 in her home with her son and daughter-in-law by her side. The name Church is synonymous with the Democratic Party and Idaho politics, but the reach of Bethine and her husband Frank Church shaped the state we live in today. Bethine Church is an Idaho Democratic icon. The widow of the late four-term Senator Frank Church, she was born in Mackey in 1924. Church was part of Idaho's political family and the matriarch of the Democratic Party in Idaho. When my dad was running for governor, they were hanging everything on him, and he was running as a Democrat. Now, if you just say you're a Democrat, it's all over. Her father, an Idaho governor and federal district judge. Her uncle, also an Idaho governor. Her cousin, a U.S. senator. But to Bethine, public office was about more than politics. She devoted her life to making Idaho and the world better. On Your Side's Don Nelson sat down with Bethine just last month as the country prepared to remember the 50th anniversary of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. And I remember them calling it uh, Camelot, and it, it seemed like that. She married Frank Church in 1947. The couple had two children. Her husband, Frank, was one of the most influential Idaho politicians, and Bethine was more than his partner in life. She was his partner in politics. Frank served as a U.S. Senator from 1957 to 1981 and even ran for President of the United States in 1976. He lost the Democratic nomination to Jimmy Carter. Frank died of cancer in 1984. He had things to say, mm -hmm. and he knew that they'd pay attention if he were running for president. And so that's what he hung it on. She remained active in local and national politics. She founded and chaired the Frank Church Institute at Boise State and was founder and first president of the Sawtooth Society. Bethine was also on the governing board of the National Wilderness Society. Everybody has been very, very good about the fact that I was so involved in politics uh, long ago. And they've been very fair to me. Bethine's son Chase posted notice of her death on his Facebook page last night, saying his mother died from, quote, old age while listening to Christmas music at her home. He and his wife were by her side. Bethine Church was 90 years old. Idaho Democrats reacted this morning to the news. This from IDP Chairman Larry Kennick. I have known Bethine for many years. She had her own impact on Idaho. This is very sad news for all of Idaho, and we in the Idaho Democratic Party will miss her deeply. Vice Chairman Gene Boole said, To me, Bethine Church was the Jackie Kennedy of Idaho. She handled everything with style and grace. Former Governor Cecil Andrus said today, Carol and I joined thousands of Idahoans and her many friends around the country in mourning the passing of Bethine Church. She was a force of nature, a great political partner to Frank for almost 30 years after his death, keeper of his leg legacy, fighting the good fight. Idaho has lost one of its leading citizens. And Mayor Dave Beter also reacting today, saying Bethine lived a remarkable Idaho life. She was a great unifier, the true politician in the family who helped Senator Church bring Idaho together and introduce it to the world. She had a lifelong passion for improving the lives of ordinary people, a quality that never waned even after her husband's far too early death. She will be missed, but she will never be forgotten. We'll have more on Bethine Church coming up on our